السلام عليكم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم today we'll continue our ECG course and today presentation on atrial fibrillation I am Ahmed Al Hadidi I am emergency medicine consultant atrial fibrillation uh, means abnormal heart rate characterized by rapid irregular beating of atrial chambers around 300 to 600 beat per minute for both atria the of course there will be absence of b waves and it will be replaced by quietic regular fibrillatory waves heart rate typically between 110 to 140 beat per minute and rarely exceeds 160 beat per minute of course uh, heart rate and ventricular rate will be regularly irregular uh, many causes for atrial fibrillation like ischemic heart disease hypertension uh, valvular heart disease like mitral stenosis and mitral regurg very common. Cardiomyopathy, uh, pulmonary embolism, bricardial disease, and uh, drugs like symbasomimetics. Also, acid-based disturbance and electrolyte disturbance like hypokalemia and hypomagnesemia. Acute infections, uh, thyrotoxicosis and pheochromocytoma and excess alcohol. There is many risk factors for uh, atrial fibrillation like age. 10% of people over 80 years have AF. Obesity, smoking is a risk factor, obstructive sleep apnea, and COPD. This is atrial fibrillation. Uh, as we can see, it's irregularly QRS, irregular ventricular rate, and it's rapid, and there is no B waves totally no B waves. And if you need to calculate the rhythm, we'll, uh, from this point to this point, it's uh, 30 large squares, and we will count the QRS complexes between 30 large squares, 17 QRSs multiplied by 10 equals 170 P per minute. For ECG features for atrial fibrillation will be a regularly irregular rhythm. So the distance between R waves is not constant. And no B waves at all. B waves is replaced uh, by F waves, fibrillatory waves. Absence of isoelectric baseline, uh, as you can see, and variable ventricular rate irregular. Also, uh, fibrillatory waves can be present and can be either fine, fine fibrillatory waves, which where the amplitude is less than 0.5 millimeter as amplitude or coarse fibrillatory waves with amplitude more than 0.5 millimeters. Also, fibrillatory waves may mimic B waves and leading to misdiagnosis. Also, uh, uh, usually QRS complexes are narrow, less than 120 milliseconds, unless there is pre-exciting uh, bundle, pre-excitation, or bundle branch block, accessory pathway, or apparent conduction, like in this, uh, uh, ECG here, this is an atrial fibrillation with white complex, either uh, a bundle branch block or accessory pathway or apparent conduction. The mechanism, uh, there is theories for mechanism of atrial fibrillation. Two theories are the main theories, focal activation, where there is area of focal activity, often located uh, around the pulmonary veins, is triggered by increased automaticity. So this area will fire multiple uh, waves. Other uh, theory is multiple wavelets uh, theory where multiple small wandering wavelets uh, uh, maintained by re-entry circuits and potentiated in presence of dilated left atrium. There is something, uh, slow AF. Slow AF uh, is uh, AF with heart rate less than 60 beat per minute. And there is many causes for uh, slow AF, like hypothermia, digoxin toxicity, medications controlling uh, rate, or like beta blocker or calcium sham blockers, and sinus node dysfunction. For the management of atrial fibrillation, uh, the corner store for AF management is rate control, anticoagulation, and rhythm control. The decision for using rhythm control or rate control strategy depends on degree of symptoms and likelihood uh, of maintaining sinus rhythm after cardioversion and presence of core morbidities and candidacy for AF ablation. Even some people will live uh, uh, lifelong with persistent atrial fibrillation. 
Prism control the strategies uh, like electrical cardioversion using the defibrillator with and giving synchronized electrical cardioversion. And this is the first line management in symptomatic young patients. Chemical uh, cardioversion uh, with medication like phenicanide, uh, propafenone, amidarone, and uh, sotalo, beta blocker. Uh, also, catheter ablation or surgical or hybrid ablation for if there is focal uh, activation or micro uh, uh, circuits, it can be uh, uh, cauterized with catheter ablation. Rate control strategies like medication, like calcium channel blockers, beta blockers, and digoxin and amiodarone. And amiodarone usually used for patients who are unresponsive for other uh, uh, agents. Placement of permanent pacemaker uh, used when other rate and rhythm control alternatives are exhausted and if uh, no use. Anticoagulation according to risk factors. So if there is no risk factor, so no need for anticoagulation or antiplatelet. If there is one moderate risk factor, so you can give either aspirin or anticoagulation. If there is any one high risk factor or more than two moderate risk factors, you have to give anticoagulants. So risk factors, either high risk factors like prior stroke or transient ischemic attack, systemic thromboembolism, and age 75 or more, uh, presence of only one of these risk factors mandates anticoagulant. Moderate risk factors like patient aged from 65 to uh, 74, female sex, hypertension or diabetes or heart failure or arterial disease like myocardial infarction, peripheral arterial disease or aortic plate. Uh, presence of one moderate risk factor means antiplatelet or anticoagulant. Bl presence of more than one mandates anticoagulation. Thank you so much, and don't forget to uh, like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.